Welcome to the hub. Hey family, welcome back to the Coach Cast show. Today's episode is another episode of Ask Coach Cast. So I got a DM that I thought was pretty darn good. So I said, you know what? We're going to talk about this on the show. So Lady D from Pennsylvania writes, making time for dating with my work and personal schedule has been tough. The gentleman that I met is a firefighter, so his schedule is also challenging. So the days that he is off, I'm either traveling for work or I may have scheduled something for family or friends. I have appointments such as hair and nails. And honestly, sometimes on my days off, I just wanna sit in the house and relax. I just don't feel like getting dressed and leaving my house. Listen, Lady D, listen. During this whole panoramic, I have realized that I really like my bed and I really like my couch. But at the same time, you have to review what is important to you. Have you made the official decision that love is a priority, romantic love? And if romantic love is a priority, what are you doing that shows me that? Looking at your schedule. Hmm? If this man is saying, if this is a man you want to get to know and he wants to get to know you and he's saying, let's get together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But every single time you say no, how long do you think it will last in terms of you both being interested in getting to know each other? Hmm? No, really. How long do you think it will take for you both to say, yes, this is amazing. I want this to be my man or my woman or my wife. Like, do you wanna stretch it out over the next five years? Because if you're only going on a date once every two weeks, how does that really work if love is a priority? Because here's the, here's the problem that I see. You know, One of the number one reasons why men pull away is because you're not making any time for them, right? So if you wanted to be with me, you'd make time for me. And so if you're not making time for me, I'll go make time with somebody else or I'll go hang out with someone who's actually paying me attention. Remember, this is the beginning stages of dating. You know, later on, you can invite him to the things with friends and family, right? You could get your nails done together. He could hang out while you get your hair done. You know, like there's ways that you could fit this in where there's a level of comfort and you know each other. But in the beginning, Hanti, you got to make time for the date. Because then otherwise, if you're getting to know him on Monday and then two weeks passes and then it's on a Friday, which is kind of like three weeks. So then it's like, are you talking in between? What's the communication level in between seeing each other? Because if you're not communicating and you're not seeing each other, you're not on a path to anything but a situationship that lands in whatever land. And who wants whatever land? If you're just looking for a boy toy, then that works. But if you're seeking more, right, ladies? If you're seeking more, if you want a long-term companion, how do you get there quicker? How do you vet faster? You actually have to spend time with the person. Hello. You have to spend time with the person because the problem is you end up feeling like you wasted your time because you're going to have to tell auntie and cousin so-and-so, no, I have a date. And yeah, you put those dates first for a while until you find the person that you want to hang out with, right? Right. And then you can interweave them into your life. But we're not, we not, we not doing this. I'll see you next year. Oh yeah, I'm dating somebody, but I only see him once a month. And it's not a long distance relationship. He lives three minutes from my house. Come on, guys. Come on. We have to rapidamente. We need to move this process up. Because what if on the fourth date, you go on four dates over two weeks and you're like, you know what? No, I don't like this person. Bam. 
and they're gone. Listen, no time wasted. That was two weeks. But instead, since you're not actually seeing them, that two week could end up taking six months. Or maybe you say to yourself, wow, this man definitely has the potential to be something really special. But you only know that by spending time with him. So that's my invitation to you, Dawn. Get it together. <laughs> Bump him up the list. Bump him up the schedule. Put some things on hold. You don't need to get your hair done every three days, right? The nails, he really doesn't care about your nails. I know you do, but is it the nail appointment or is it a nice dinner looking at the ocean or wherever you live, the nice lake, looking into his eyes and connecting? Time to make that decision. So why do men pull away? I, I want to share... I want to share a few reasons with you. So here are a few reasons why men pull away. One, he's not interested, period, right? He's not interested, so he pulls away, and that's that. Let him go, let him go, let him go. There's not a strong connection there, right? Two, he's afraid of commitment. Some things happened in his past where things switched or changed when, when he put a title on it or put a ring on it, so that'd be, there might be some fear around commitment. Three, ah, you're not making time for the man. You're not making time for him. So he's going to go somewhere where someone is. All right. So those are three simple reasons why men pull away for you to start to think about like, okay, if he's not interested, I'm grateful for it. Period. Right. We are grateful for the person that eliminates themselves from the running to be America's next top husband. Right. Or Europe or South Africa or Mozambique or Philippines, wherever you are in the world listening in, right? So we want to start thinking about, okay, if he's not interested, that has nothing to do with my worth. He's just not the right person for me. If he has a fear of commitment, that's something that he has to work out, but I'm not necessarily going to sit and wait for it. And then if I'm not making time for him, then I need to figure out, is this someone that I really want to spend time with or not? And be honest about it. That's my invitation to you. If you love this episode, make sure to share it. And then whatever platform you're listening from, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, Google, CoachCastShow.com, wherever you're listening from, please leave a five-star review and subscribe so you never, ever miss an episode. All right? Until next time, keep loving, keep laughing, keep living. Bye, guys. <laughs>